Hey guys, good morning. We are here in Dusseldorf and we are doing one of my favorite things ever and that is walking through the market. You know how I love to walk through markets. But the main reason we're here in Dusseldorf this week is to find somewhere to eat. And I've already had the pleasure of eating at this marvelous place, the Brasserie. And that is one of the places, that's where I'm gonna take you guys. But the other special thing that you guys are in store for is we are staying at the Living Hotel de Medici, which is in the Aufstadt of Dusseldorf. And it is part monastery, uh, part hotel, part museum, and when I say museum, every single floor has something to behold. There's sculptures, tapestries uh, that date back hundreds of years, handmade tapestries, oil paintings. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. But until then, I'll tell you what, let's have a trip through the market, let you guys uh, enjoy some of the sights and the sounds, and when we're done after this break, we'll be right back with you. This record. Everyone wants this one. Yeah, young people, old people, very old people, all likes this music. Oh, I, I love here. it. Nat Conella, he drinking in the morning whiskey, one bottle of whiskey. And the sound is perfect. It's a whiskey sound. A whiskey sound. Okay, guys, like I mentioned earlier, every single floor in this place is like a museum. Uh, there's beautiful tapestries oil paintings that date back hundreds of years. You're gonna find sculptures encased in glass. And it is, it's like, it's like a history lesson. Uh, there's so much to take in. You could spend all day um, looking at these beautiful sculptures, looking at these paintings, um, just learning about the history. Not only is the Living Hotel, the De Medici, a great place to stay, um, while you're here in Dusseldorf, and Dusseldorf is one of my favorite cities, but there's, there's just so much culture and richness here for you to explore on a daily basis. So it's kind of hard to leave the hotel and go out. But of course, let's go look at some more pieces. Um, and then, of course, we'll find something to eat. So I'll see you when I get back. Bye bye. Si je 
Alrighty guys, so what did I tell you? How incredible was that? And this is the place that I get to stay. Every single floor here is, is like a museum. The artwork, and, and I, what I really hope is, thank you, how are you? Thank you. What I really hope is that everyone enjoys it as much as I do. I know that uh, I'm here on vacation, most people are here working, but you walk down the hallways to your room and there are just paintings everywhere. So again, I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I do. So um, what we're gonna do now is, I've already ordered my food, so let me tell you what I ordered. Um, I ordered <laughs> a goat cheese salad. Of course, I, I normally don't eat salads, but I ordered a goat cheese salad. Uh, a chicken and a white wine sauce and thank you sir and what else did I get a salad chicken I don't know it's gonna be a surprise maybe I'll just have to wait until it gets here but this Dusseldorf is such an amazing place it's, it's just so uh, this is my second time here and it is just an electric place in the evenings I have some footage of that that I'll show people have so much fun here uh, right right across the way uh, there's another art museum, great art there, about 300 meters behind me is the River Rhine and the Promenade. So there's always tons of people out and I hope you guys enjoyed all of the footage, um, especially the cigar room. If I was a smoker, which I'm not, I think that is one of the places that I would really love to go sit and smoke. I think there's over 150 different pipes in their cigars. Or, handcrafted some out of wood and and to just beautifully ornate drawings on each one of them and it's just a really really great place to, to hang out so what we're going to do is i ordered a cocktail and whenever it gets here then uh then i will let you enjoy that with us all right all right now oh wow here, here's my food thank you oh the lobster soup right this is the lobster soup that's right Okay. After this, uh, coming with the cocoa butter. Okay. okay. Nicely done. Nicely done. But everything. Thank you. So, uh, I already ordered my food. It's already here. So what I ordered was, I ordered the lobster soup and the goat cheese salad and a chicken ragu. I think in white wine sauce. Every time. Oh, is is this it? Is this a cocktail? Yes. Okay. No, 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 I, I think I'm gonna like this. Six, seven. Ah, wow, can you guys see that? I don't know what it is, it's special. They made it just special, so I asked for something and, and they, uh, they brought it out, so. Uh, wow, that is refreshing. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and I'll eat and then we can talk and then I'll eat some more and we can talk some more. You ready? Let's let's uh, let's try this soup. This again. This is the lobster soup. You guys know how much I like lobster. Wow. So far, so so good. Uh, I was able here, able to. We came here the other night, and we sat inside, and I had the lobster and Claudia had the white asparagus, which is, which is, is, is seasonal. And I think it's only seasonal two months out of the year. And oh my God, the chef, Mr. Florian, I think he stuck his finger in it because it was that delicious. It was really good, so I decided that I had to come back. But I did, I wanted to sit outside. I want you guys to enjoy the weather with me. So we are outside trying food today. Um, can you guys hear that? I hope it's as beautiful as on here as it is to me sitting here. What a way to spend the afternoon. So that's the lobster soup. Let's move on to the goat cheese salad. As Sid would say, you have to have the right amount of crunch in Wow. And look at this goat cheese. This salad is really, really, 
Did, if you if you watched the earlier the earlier episodes, you know how much I love goat cheese, and this goat cheese is really good. What an amazing day, also. All right, we are back, and we are here with our mains, and you know that is why we call this Freddy the Foodie, and here is the food. So we have here. Let's, let's go ahead and we have here. We have the chicken, potatoes, and this is all cooked in a, a white wine sauce. We have carrots and what looks to be maybe radish. Better look at the menu one more time, but the, uh, let's, let's not waste any time. Let's go right in for some chicken and potatoes. Sitting outside the beautiful the Medici Hotel, water in the background, there's ducks walking around, it doesn't get much better than this. Mmm, wow. The, the chicken is just so succulent and juicy. I may have to take some cooking classes just so I can use all of the, the buzzwords that everyone uses. Everyone uses. I'm looking at the camera. it look right here. Wow. The chicken has been cooked in, in a white wine sauce and oh, it is amazing. The carrots, as Sid would say, have the right amount of firmness. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I almost forgot that I was on camera and I almost forgot about you guys. So I'll tell you what, before I go, how about that church? How beautiful was that church? I think that was the first thing that I shot when we got here. And I spent, a, I spent about an hour sitting in the church just sitting, just being. And before we leave to go back home, I would like to do it again, but it is such, you can just feel the calmness just sitting, just sitting there, which was amazing. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that footage and I hope it, again, I hope these things translate onto the little screen that you guys are watching it on the way it does for me. But if it doesn't, take my word for it, these things are incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue to eat. And when I'm done, maybe we'll get dessert and then we'll call it a day. Alrighty, see you guys. Okay, we're gonna look right here. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so let me make sure this is on. Alrighty guys, so this is the part of the show that I always hate the most. I only hate it because I, I hate leaving you guys, but I know I'll be back with you next week. But what I want to do is, I want to, first of all, I want to thank everybody at the Living Hotel de Medici for such great hospitality. These guys have been amazing. The, the, the hotel, the staff, everyone. And I know I always say this, but everyone treated me like family. Uh, I want to thank everyone at everyone at the brasserie. The food was incredible. Uh, it was amazing. I, this is my second time here. I just really, really enjoyed it. But before we go, I want to introduce you guys to Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar was here taking care of me. Uh, he, an incredible soul, an incredible person. Um, Mr. Omar, is there anything you would like to say to everybody before we go? No. Oh, yes. Yes. If you like to come to Dusseldorf. We have a nice city and a nice restaurants, and I hope you, I see you here in Düsseldorf, Brasserie Stadthaus. Yeah, right? and, uh, we have a very nice cast. <laughs> yeah. Thank very, very nice. Thank, thank you very much. You. Thank, thank you very you, much, sir. guys. All right, so we'll see you guys next week. Alrighty. Bye. Bye, bye now. Cheers. This is, by the way, this is Brennan. You'll see him. And over there by himself, that is Grayson. Yeah. This is my. This is my. PR specialist, and that is my first AD.
for there. Oh, yeah, I hear Stuff. So, um, we're going to go have some fun and we'll see you when we get back at the hotel. <laughs> wow, I have a new co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have my Grayson, hold your skis properly. Yeah. Uh. Head down to the slopes. I called it before the fall. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. Our brother, brother is uh, about to drop in GoPro style. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> 